should you buy your YouTube views and subscribes? When I first started out in business five years ago, a business old owner told me that he had purchased 20,000 Twitter followers. This got me thinking, should I? Should you? Let's talk about that. I'm Justina Roshu, your personal brand video coach. I'm an ex BBC production manager and I work with global brands in my own video production company. I want to help you use video and YouTube strategy and creation to inspire your audience and grow your business. If that's what you want to consider clicking the subscribe and hitting that bell so that you know whenever I've uploaded a new video, it's time to talk. So today's video is answering the question, should you buy your social proof? I want to take you back five years ago, at a time when I first started dabbling in Facebook groups and looking at online courses. Back then, I asked a business group I was in if this was a good idea, how I'd heard this other business owner getting his Twitter followers. Should I use that to jumpstart my social media and have social proof too? The answer was a resounding, don't do it. So I didn't. And then I pulled away from the online world and built my business in the offline world through face-to-face -face networking and referrals. Fast forward, at the end of last year, I decided to build a second business, still in video production, but this time really focusing on small businesses and mainly personal brands. But then last week, I came across a video showing you how to get unlimited subscribes within minutes. Name your number, go through all this process where you sign up to lots of different lists, competitions, and all of that stuff so other people can sell to you. Wow, I thought to myself, really, people are doing that? And it reminded me of when I was having those conversations five years ago. Should you buy social proof as a way to just get started in those early days? Is it really that bad? So the answer is actually yes and no. So let's first of all take a look at the no's. First, you have to ask yourself this question. Do you want a channel that is there to grow your business? Or do you want a channel that's to make you feel good about yourself? If you want a channel to make you feel good about yourself, then don't worry about the pros and cons. Just go ahead and buy as many subscribers as you like. If you're a business owner and you're just thinking about this as maybe a strategy, then consider these six things. One, when you purchase subscribers or views for that matter, you're not connecting with your potential client at all. You're not truly helping anyone. Number two, you're giving YouTube's algorithms false and confusing data. It's likely that YouTube can see consistency in the kind of person who is engaged with your channel for real. YouTube intelligently selects videos to show to other viewers based on that data. So if you go ahead and buy a bunch of strange, who knows where they've come from, views and subscribers, then YouTube really don't know how to help you find your actual true potential clients. Number three, YouTube could figure out what you're doing and close your channel without warning because it is against its policies. Now, before I give you those last three clangers, Tell me in the comments below what you think about this controversial practice, even sub for subs. And remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos just like this. Number four, part of your video journey to creating valuable and engaging content is learning about your viewer and then adjusting your content based on that behavior. And you do this through watching your analytics and getting to know your analytics. And if you've just got empty views, then you're not really seeing some data that makes sense. Number five, how is, your, how is your channel going to come across as a valuable channel with videos worth putting in the suggested column if YouTube sees you have, say, 10,000 subscribers, but only, say, 12 views per video? Because you're probably not going to want to always 
buy those views well let's say you buy views on every single video is that viewers profile going to help youtube work out what viewing habits your viewer usually has that youtube can best offer suggesting your viewer to that person number six buying views equals high view and low watch time which is bad for your channel so you're shooting yourself in the foot if you ever want to actually grow your channel authentically and get and get people watching who might become clients it's easy to get caught up in vanity metrics after all it feels amazing every time you get a new viewer or a new subscriber or someone commenting on your videos but if you are a business and ultimately you want to grow your business leading your viewer through engagement into a sales funnel which ultimately is what every single video on your youtube channel is it's an evergreen piece of a sales funnel and you want to know you're attracting the right person and getting credible feedback from that audience growing your channel does take time and dedication but you can do it 100 percent organically and ultimately this is the way to get true data get to know your audience and reap actual results through profits in your business now do you remember i also said yes as one of the possible answers we've done the no but yes there is a yes side to buying views and subscribes <laughs> and that is you're buying exposure and you're buying it from youtube all you need is a google ads account and you can do that the other way is to use facebook ads where you can get selective on who you're showing that video to the best way to do that is to embed your youtube video on your blog page and then advertise your blog page at the end of the day it's fine to buy exposure and invite an audience but it's not fine to buy empty meaningless subs and views unless you're just after the vanity metrics don't go yet join me in the next video and we'll talk some more